Hey y'all, this is the People's Finder podcast by Mera Buirimo. Illuminate that which is hidden within you. Hey loves, welcome back to the People's Finder podcast. I'm your host Mera Buirimo and we're back with another episode. I'm so excited to do this episode and to be back. I miss you all. How have you guys been doing? I hope you guys have been doing amazing. I hope your week has been great. My week has been amazing. Happy Easter. I know my weekend is going to be great. Like the energy in the air is so good in Nairobi right now. I think people are just so excited. And that's what I love to hear. Anyways, also, I just wanted to talk about something before I start. Brian Chira's burial. Honestly, I really didn't like a how people behaved in that burial. I even didn't know it went like that. I'm not on Twitter. So when my lecturer was talking about it, being disappointed about us young people, I went and looked at Twitter and saw all those things and I was so disappointed. Like, why would people do that in someone else's burial? Why would you like get drunk, misbehave? And even the people who branch here, I didn't know when there. And for me, that was so bad. Like, just stay at home, respect others. Bonam Nendo Komna Jaza, please, not even contributing anything to the burial. Or even Brachira didn't even know you. And some of you say, oh, we are going to represent him. I really didn't like that. And I think as young people, as Kenyans, we need to improve in a lot of things and just to just know how to put boundaries in ourselves and in other people and respect them with where they are. And I saw the grandparents were like, we will cleanse this land. Like they weren't happy. They were so disappointed. As much as a lot of people turned up, it did them worse than better. So yeah, let's just do better. But anyways, there I want to talk about this topic, celebrating other differences. And when I talk about celebrating other people's differences, for me, I don't mean race. I mean, you can put it that way, but majority of the thing that I'm talking about this topic is celebrating other people's like talents, hobbies, personalities. It's just looking at people in a different view as how you look at yourself. For example, when you meet someone and then you start putting them into boxes, you already meet them and you start imagining them being an extrovert or an introvert or liking something that you like, that's already so toxic. You've already put them into a, a specific box that they are not. When you meet someone, sit down and listen to them. Listen to them, get to know them. I had that behavior where I used to already create a scenario of someone in my head, making it in favor of me so that I can have fun with them instead of them just being themselves, and which is so bad. So just accepting people, sitting down with people, listening to them and being like, okay, they're different. We have different views. This is their personality. This is how they roll. And it's okay. It's okay. And I can still be friends with them, even though we don't vibe the same things. You know, we are not a fan of the same things. That's what I'm talking about. So stop putting people into boxes when you meet them. And you have to realize that everyone is unique in their own way. And a lot of things make us unique in our different ways a lot like a, the list can go on and on and on first of all we have different worldviews let me just explain worldviews what does worldviews mean i'm taking this unit called right three to one it's a theology unit if you're in this you know you know we have to take like a theology units it's a must um and in this theology unit worldview is presented as you know when the missionaries came to africa they wanted to make us christians but most of the places it didn't work because they didn't understand us they didn't understand our culture they didn't understand our worldview like we were living very differently even the houses that we lived in were so different from theirs but they started just forcing us and most of the parts didn't work because of that so that is why the African theologians came, not South Africans to study theology, because now they understand us better. So they study African culture, and then they study theology, and then they try to bring it together so that when they can go out there to spread Christianity, it can work and not it being so hard for them, because now we can resonate like, okay, I can resonate with what you're saying. For example, there's this Bible verse where there was this man who wanted Jesus to heal them. So the man climbed up in the roof so that 
he can be healed because there was a lot of the crowd was a lot. He couldn't reach Jesus directly. So the friends walk out to a roof and then they shook at him to meet Jesus. And then Africans were like, which roof is that? Because a long time ago we lived in like hard roofs. Our hard roofs can't be removed. So you want to join us or what? Like it can't be removed. So that was like that was just one of the examples that we have different worldviews. And different worldviews come from our families, from uh, the countries that we're in, from schools, friendships. Like in families, for example, I met a friend, my a friend who is Somalia. Like those people never eat ugali in their home; they only eat rice. And for me, that is so foreign. I was like, you don't eat ugali because I, I, my mind was like, okay, every Kenyan eat ugali, like literally. But their home is not there, and and I was shocked. But Masish made me to realize, oh my goodness, like we are so different. I might think that we are same, um, our households are same, but our households are so different. And that's where worldviews come in. And that's why I say that we need to respect other people so much because we are not the same. We have different worldviews. We have different schools teach different things. Friendships. If you want to shape your worldview to be better, have good friends. So yeah. And the other thing that makes us so different is we have different interests. Our interests are so different. Okay, I might go with this in the root of maybe the sex. Like boys love different things. Girls love different things i don't expect a guy to love reality shows because i love reality shows of course there are some who do but they don't and i respect that i used to be that kind of person who didn't get why people don't enjoy my show i was like you guys you need to watch this i was I used to force my friends to go watch something that i watched because i thought it was so good but it, they weren't fun of it and also that was so toxic of me so don't force things into people respect the differences Okay, you love football. It's fine. Love football. Be secure with your football. Enjoy your football. Football is so good. And I respect that. But don't come force it on me. Come sit here. I, I don't like it. Maybe I might be open to watch it one time, but it's not my thing. Respect other people. You know, if they say no, I'm not a fan. Just be okay, okay, okay. I mean, you can tell them one or two things about it and then leave it there. But don't try to push it on people like so much. It's so not good. It's not amazing. And speaking of that, we have a lecturer who loves football so much. So he always wants us to like football. Our class, I'm taking a communication course. You know, communication students, most of us are ladies. We have like few men in class. So the lecturer comes in. Who likes football? Did you watch yesterday's football? The rest of the class are just like, hmm, only just one or two people raise their hands. And those are men. But the lecturer is always like, I'm sorry for you guys. Like, you, you don't like football and the way football is good. And others are just like, it's, we don't like it. We, we really don't like it. And it's okay. And this is the same way. Uh, when he asks what kind of books or what kind of podcasts you like to listen to and you say personal development or self help books, he looks down upon it. And I'm like, lecturer, you're missing something. Like, he thinks self help is books that make you think that you can be rich with doing one thing. No. And I wanted to tell him that, no, self-help books really help a lot of people, especially this generation. That's our jam. That's the thing that makes us be in shape, reading those books and listening to those podcasts. But he doesn't get it. He doesn't, he doesn't get what it does to us as young people. And every time he says that, I always feel as if I, I just want to correct him. But I just keep quiet because it's like, okay, you, you know, you're making, you're forcing us to watch football. And then you, you don't understand what we like. That's a very good example about celebrating other people's differences. Don't look down on what other people like. And also this is a, is big on me. I'm working on this because sometimes I'm always so like self-centered and think that what I like is the best. And I know some of you also think that. And it's something that we need to improve so that we can embrace other people. Also, we have to realize that we have different personalities, guys. Some people are introverts, some people are extroverts, and it's okay. It's okay. Kitambo, I used to think that you have to be a certain thing, like you have to be an extrovert when you go to certain places or not talk much when you go to certain places. No, your personality is your personality, and that's who you are, and that's what makes you special. If you are someone who keeps quiet and you feel comfortable with doing that, I mean, by all means, you don't have to talk in every place. If you're an extrovert, don't feel bad that you're loud or 
that's what makes you you talk speak let people listen to what you want to say because i'm sure you have a lot to say and i really admire everyone on nowadays and that just makes us just open our eyes and just be open minded to accept each one of us the way we are and also you have to realize that you have to look for what makes them special don't be that mindset that is just like okay now we don't vibe so the person is boring i can't be their friend that is just one thing that makes them special give people time and it does not mean that they are wrong or you are better you are not better and you need to humble yourself if you think if you ever think that you are better you have to humble yourself you have to tell your mind okay yes this is the talent that i have this is the hobby that i have this is the career that i have it's good and i love it but i'm not better than anyone who does anything else that's why when we look at the world that a lot of different things we have lawyers we have doctors we have journalists and that's what makes the world move okay here's a quote that i'm going to give you stop comparing yourself to others flowers are pretty but so are sunsets and they look nothing alike yours is pretty yes yours is beautiful mine is beautiful theirs is beautiful but they look nothing alike and that is why i will respect it because it's unique and it's something that god has given you and when we learn the art of celebrating other people's differences this is what it comes with it comes with a lot of beautiful things and i know everyone we need this we need these beautiful things that it comes with it stimulates creativity and innovation we learn from others when you have this mindset open minded mindset of accepting other people you want to learn about them even their culture or the talent they have the hobbies that they do you'll be very open minded okay oh you do guitar i want to do guitar too i want to learn piano too i want to start watching football too because i see how interested you are in it i will try yes i'm not a fan of it but i'm going to try just it will make you just have that mindset of being open minded and which is beautiful and you'll get a lot of new talents and new hobbies and new things that you like also you will start respecting others you won't look down on anyone like you'll be like okay this is cool it's odd it's not something that i do but you know i will accept it because the way you do it you do it with passion and you love it i will try to you know to see what you see in it you start respecting other people also people will open up to you more you know when you accept other people people will want to come and talk to you because they they feel safe that you're not judging them you're not putting your insecurities on them you're accepting their hope is their talents they feel so safe to come talk to you because they're like okay i'm an introvert but you make me feel safe you make me feel that i want to open up and talk they they will they will accept you and also when they accept you they will give you opportunities they will give you a lot of your doors will be open because you're so open to what they have to do and what they have to say i think that's the end of this episode episode 9 i'm so excited um i hope you guys have learned something that i've also learned most of the time i do research and i think the research that i do is so good but with this episode honestly it was hard to, for me to find people talking about this so i had to just open my mind and come up with a lot of things that i think make sense and i think that out of my experiences but yeah that is the end of the episode i hope you guys have enjoyed this episode it's easter weekend i hope you guys have an amazing weekend for me i will just celebrate my sister's birthday it's good food i'm sure is i'm going to eat good food go to church and also remember the reason for easter is that jesus died for our sins and he resurrected just for me and you know that in mind so everything that you do always try to do good always try to be good try to be the better version of yourself each time and remember john 3:16 for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life if you haven't accepted jesus into your life i think it's just very important it's just a nice time like just do that if you feel the urge to do that it will like literally change your life and it will transform you and just everything that you do but I hope